Breaking news, a dinosaur has been spotted in the Seattle area. Locals are calling it the plasmid source. It can reportedly smell bacterial broth, and if you are holding a strip tube, it will approach you. What do you want? I'm looking for plasmids. Found some. We have Tamanash on the ground, who has been speaking to those who have come across this mysterious dino. Thank you, Jacob. I'm here at Fred Hutch with Professor Hamid Malik. Dr. Malik, what did the dinosaur do when he was here? Yes, it was impossibly fast. It came, took my plasmid samples, and then vanished. All I know is a few hours later, I have my sequencing results. A few hours? Like I said, impossibly fast. I would be worried if Plasmosaurus wasn't visiting my lab. You're sending your samples and only checking them with Sanger? You're trusting that 20-year-old reference in the back of your freezer? You're the real dino. Plasmidsaurus hates primers. It doesn't use them for sequencing. It'll throw them out. Primers! Dr. Geiger, hello. Were you scared of the dino? Scared? Well, that dino is a lean green sequencing machine, but no, not scared. I was having sequencing nightmares keeping me up, but now, thanks to Plasmosaurus, I am no longer sleepless in Seattle. What did Plasmosaurus sound like? Well, folks, you heard it here first. Plasmid Source has opened a lab in Seattle and is searching for DNA and AAV samples to sequence. Look out for a Dropbox near you and remember, sequence everything. Who are you? Where are you from? I'm Plasmid Source. I live in Seattle now.